Today we're going to carry out a static auto tune on an EFOS 1 controller with a new M701 drive. Today I've got the lift on under my control, it's on test control, it's on panel test, I've got the doors disabled so the lift is under my control. This is the M701 drive. Um, one of the things I will say to you is to check your motor data parameters in the 5 menu frequency of the machine, rate of current, the RPM, all this information will be on your data plate. Okay, and once you are ready to carry out the, a static auto tune, if we go to parameter 5.12 and change it from none to basic, this is, this is the drive ready for a static auto tune. Now for the static auto tune, we have to remove the brake. I'll just show you the circuit on a TVC drawing. So on the drawing here, it shows you T41 and 42, which is the run output from the driver is feeding the BKR coil. Now today I've removed T41 and 42, and I have also removed the brake wire for added safety. This is different on different types of controllers, of uh, Thames Valley controllers. Please check your drawings, and if you're unsure, please contact TVC. They'll be able to give you additional information. So today we've changed the drive setting for the auto tune, so we've changed it from none to basic, and now we are ready to do the auto tune. Now when the auto tune starts, you'll hear the machine, um, the current starts pumping up because it's doing a state resistance check. Um, but basically what you're looking, you must keep it on the drive at all times because if any faults come up, it flashes on the front of the drive and it'll come up something like auto tune stopped and there'll be an error code. Um, which will be in one of the uh, NIDEC manuals. But we're going to do the test today. So, as I said, I've got the brake removed. I've got the drive all set up for a, a static auto tune. And all you, all you require is to put a test direction on. So, here we go. Keep an eye on the front of the drive for any errors. And that is the state uh, uh, static auto tune completed. Remove the direction. Now the parameters you need to check to make sure um, the auto tune's passed is 517, which is the state of resistance, and 524 is a transient inductance. Now I always recommend to everybody to do this test a few times. So I'm going to zero these parameters and we'll do the test again just to, for completeness and to make sure they're coming back uniformed. TVC always really recommend a rotating auto tune because you get more information from the drive by doing a rotating auto tune and you can also check your no load current and, and, and in the information and stuff. And you can just do a general check on your, on your gearbox, your bearings and stuff like that with, with the ropes removed. So we're gonna do the um, auto tune again, static, or sorry, basic as I, as it says here, put a test direction on. And if you listen to the drive, it starts doing the auto tune straight away. And you can hear the resistance check. Auto tune completed. And what we'll do, we'll go and check 517 and 524 to make sure they're coming back within the ballpark of what the other test was. And these are close. And these are close. So what we do after this, we, we save our parameters. So we always go down to 00, zero menu. 00, zero, and it says no action. You push the enter button, which is the right right hand one under the display. Push up to save parameters, push the enter button again, then, then the red reset button until it changes back to no action. This tells you that the parameters have been saved. I usually do this a couple of times just to make sure. And that is your basic static auto tune on a TVC controller with an M701 drive.